In this video, we'll take a look at Reference Display and Reference Plan Display. In this project, I'm going to remodel an existing duplex and add garages to each of the units. As you can see here, I have my as-built plan file and my remodel plan files open. This is a two-story building. You can control the floor level that is displayed by going to Tools, Floor Reference Display, and then your up one floor and down one floor buttons are here. You can also access the change floor reference button here. But Chief has provided a toolbar here at the top for easy access. You can move up and down floor levels by clicking on the change floor level buttons. The number in the middle indicates the floor level you're on, but it also is the button that opens the change floor reference dialog. Here you can also select the floor level that you want to display. The Change Floor Reference button also controls the floor level that is referenced when you turn on Reference Display. I'll use the Quick Access button provided here in the toolbar at the right of my screen to turn on Reference Display. Now you can see another level is displayed in red lines. You can control what level is being referenced and how it displays by clicking on the Change Floor Reference tool. I'll change the referenced floor level to the second floor. You also have the option to change what layers are referenced. Reference Display is using its own layer set. With my first floor displayed here in the Change Floor Reference dialog, I will reference the second floor, but I want to see my roof lines on the second floor level as well. So next to the Reference Display layer set, I'll click on Define. That will open the Layer Display Options dialog. Here I'll go down to the roof layers and turn on, or display, the roof planes layer. Then I'll change the color of the roof planes layer to green and I'll change the line style to dashed. Now you can see all of the walls on the second floor displayed in red and the roof plane lines are shown in green dashed lines. Here we are referencing the same plan we are working in but you also have the option to reference other plans. I'll click again on the change floor reference button and at the bottom here you see the referenced plan is the remodel plan. You can change this by clicking on the drop-down for other plan options. If you click on the drop-down you will see the options to select one of the other plans that are currently open or you can click on choose existing plans to browse to another chief architect plan file in your computer to reference into this plan. I'll select the as-built plan of this duplex to show what changes are to be made. I can then control which floor level in the reference file that I want to display and which layer set in that plan will be displayed. I want to match the floor level to the plan I have open and leave it on Reference Display Set. I want to use this to show existing walls that will need to be demolished. I want to show them in dashed lines. So to change the Reference Display Layer Set in the referenced plan, I can click on Define here to open the Layer Display Options dialog. I'll select all of the layers and change them to a dashed line type. Floor and Plan References are components that are saved in Saved Plan Views. So I want to update the Saved Plan View called First Floor Plan with the Reference Display turned on as you see it here. I'll click on the Saved Plan View button. You can learn more about saved plan views in additional online training videos. Now I'll send it to the layout. This will print out exactly as you see it displayed on my screen. We now have the option to reference another plan in 3D views. I'll open a perspective full overview of the remodel plan. Then I'll click on Change Floor Reference button. I'll select again the as built plan to reference into this view. While in a 3D view, you will have different options for how you want to display each overlaid 3D view. You can change the layer set that is displayed for each plan, and you have the option to change the render technique that each 3D view is using. We'll click OK to see what this looks like now. You can't see very well where the as-built stops and the remodel starts, so we'll make a change. First. I'll go to the Render Techniques button and change the Render Technique for the remodel to Glass House.
Then open the Change Floor Reference dialog again and change the As Built view to the standard render technique. That gives us a much better idea of where the existing building is and where we will be adding on and changing the exterior and roof structure. We can now save this camera view and send it to layout. Floor level references and alternate plan references are great options for communicating your design ideas to your clients, contractors, and building agencies.